So today I'll be doing a little review slash first impressions of Legacy of the Duelist Link Evolution. This game is not released in the US yet. It will be out August 20th, 2019, which is about two and a half weeks away. It is released in Japan though. So if you have a Japanese Nintendo Switch account, you can download it and play it. So I have been excited for a new, a new, a new Yu-Gi-Oh game. All I have been playing lately is Duel Links. And while it's really fun, uh, there's not that many cards. And there's so many decks I want to build and I just can't do it. I just, because they don't exist, okay? They don't exist in the game. So when I heard that they were making a Switch game with over 9,000 cards... It's over 9,000! I was like, you know, your girl has got to get this game. And so I got this game. This review is going to be just a very light, very basic review of about a few hours of gameplay. I'm not going to go way in depth of every feature. I will be explaining the basics, the gameplay, the mechanics, the tutorial, the deck editing, how to obtain cards. So the so this video is going to just be a review of those things. And honestly, mostly how enjoyable it is and if I think that it's worth purchasing when it does come out in the US. Or right now, if you don't want to wait a few weeks. I didn't want to. And if you're wondering why you should get it now, I can just tell you my reason is there are so many cards. So many cards. So I just wanted to kind of have a step ahead. I guess because I was thinking about playing ahead a bit until multiplayer ranked like oh my god I want to know I just want to know I want to be prepared I want to have deck ideas I want to know where to find the cards I want to know what I have to do I I just want to know I want to be good I want to be the queen of games in real life or dark magician girl uh, like whichever one 50-50. Uh, flip a coin. Okay. Well, you want me to do play Skyscraper? Okay, I got you. I do love the field spells, though. How they actually change the field. Okay, we'll activate this effect. Yes! Yes! What in the polarization? Great. I'll just do whatever you tell me. That's actually really cool at animation. Like, it's such a simple field and a simple layout, but it's like... Oh, yeah, baby. Dark? Oh, are we gonna get a cutscene? I think we're gonna get a cutscene. Oh, please, give me a cutscene. It's our first cutscene! Sure, you're French. Okay, I was joking. I'm actually. That was it. What? Fine. Whatever. Win condition. We did it. Okay. Cool. Poggers. <laughs> That's what you get for ripping up one of the only four blue eyes white dragons in the whole freaking world. Like of just the game in general, the the sound effects and the music is also pleasing. Like there's a lot of games that I play in the background noise, background music, and the sound effects just like kind of they're just there. They don't really do anything. But like I actually enjoyed these. Like I liked hearing the music at the end of the duel when it says you win and i liked hearing just like the little menu noises and like when you you'll see when you 
when you open a booster pack, it's just very pleasing, very nice. That is a banger song, you guys. Okay, let's go ahead and see what's in hers. Do you want to unwrap my Valentine? A lot of people do. That's such a pleasant. Oh, oh, we got Wallet. <laughs> It's Wall of D. It's Duel Links, baby. And I do I like the fact that there are so many cards. There's a, there's just so many options. You could have a variety of the. You could pretty much have any deck you wanted that you could have in real life. Which is a huge thing. Especially for people who play Duel Links. And I'm only bringing that up because that's probably the most popular Yu-Gi-Oh game right now. I do enjoy the story mode as well. If you didn't watch the animes, or you're just not familiar with the characters and the story, this is really going to be great for you. I've watched the original Yu-Gi-Oh! I watched GX and I watched some of 5Ds. And yes, I did only play a little bit of this game so far, just so I could do like a quick first impressions kind of review thing. But from what I saw, like the story is spot on in the anime. It gives you the major points. It's nice. And also, you can take it to go. You can play it to go. And yeah, you can take your phone to go. But this is this is a bigger screen. It's just nicer. It feels like kind of like a luxury Yu-Gi-Oh! And one thing I did want to talk about is I was trying to put myself in the position of somebody who's never really played Yu-Gi-Oh! at all. And I know that's really hard to do. Because I've been playing Yu-Gi-Oh! since it's come out. I've been playing Yu-Gi-Oh! since, like, late elementary, middle school, on. So I n know the rules. I know everything but, like, summoning. But I know it's hard to do, but I was trying to imagine. I had no idea what the rules were. And going into the tutorial, I was trying to think of that, like, would me, as a new player, would me... Would I, as a new player, be able to learn the rules just from this one dual tutorial? And I did the tutorials for the original Yu-Gi-Oh! and the GX, and yes, absolutely. So if you are thinking about wanting to get into Yu-Gi-Oh!, maybe your kid has mentioned something about it, absolutely, I think that yeah, they will be able to learn Yu-Gi-Oh! from this game. Now comes the not-so-fun part. The cons. And while there are way more pros in my book than cons, there are still cons. There are still some negatives. And this is this is the number one annoying thing about this game. And you might think it's stupid, and you probably do think it's stupid until you play it. Okay? So Okay, so let's say you have treacherous trap hole set and there's two monsters on the field essentially it could be activated like if you have a card set or in your hand that could be activated that has like an applicable condition to be activated the game is going to ask you at every turn to activate it actually it's going to ask you twice a turn it's going to ask you after you draw. It's going to ask you beginning of standby, end of standby, beginning of main phase, end of main phase, all through the little steps of battle phase. Like, it's going to ask you, which it does get annoying. I'm telling you, you don't think it's annoying? Um, and again, I'm bringing up Duel Links only because I know some of you do play Duel Links. It's like having Toggle on... 24 7 and you know how you have to just no no you want to activate no do you want to no do you want no 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 this is honest <gasps> that's really cool look that's really 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 cool no <gasps> Wait, what's Yami gonna look like as, as a literal field spell, you guys? Holy my. Wait, wait, wait. What's, um... 
What's a wetlands gonna look like? What's Umi gonna look like? Oh man. What's mountain gonna look like? Oh wow, this is exciting. No. And again, please be nice because this is my first YouTube video, so don't hate me for it if it's not like uh, the best thing ever. Okay, thanks. Another con for sure. And again, this could be me. This could be user error. But the deck editing menu. So when you want to go make a new deck, maybe look at cards you got. That menu, n not fun, not easy, not user friendly. I kind of just had to take like a good, a good at least five minutes to try to figure out how to even search the name of a card. And like I said, maybe it's just me, but it wasn't easy, it wasn't friendly, user friendly. Like if you needed a tutorial, give me a tutorial for that. I don't need a tutorial on how to summon a monster, on how to set a monster. I don't need to know what a trap card is. I don't need to know that it's the pink one. It tells you it's the pink one. I need to know how to navigate this menu. I need to know where to find a card. I need to know out of the 9,000 whatever cards there are, where to find this one specifically. Unless they just expect me to just open all of the booster packs until I freaking find this card. Konami, is that what you want me to do? Probably. I just wanted to look it up. And I couldn't. I looked up the card and I did not see anywhere of how to find out how to obtain it. So that's kind of rough, especially, like I said, in a game with so many cards. I want to see how I would get, like, is there a card catalog? Alright, let's go to deck edit. Let's go over here. Can we search cards? Yeah, we figured it out. Necro Valley. I know. Here. We get it from... It doesn't tell us. No. No. So this is actually going to be a little bit rough. So, not fun, not fun. But honestly thinking, I don't think that there were any more cons to that. So just the pretty much toggle on where, when it's asking you every single phase if you want to activate this card. Uh, the fact that the deck editing menu is just really confusing. And also, you can't specifically find out how to obtain a card, at least not that I found. Uh, if I do find out a way to do it, I will definitely let you all know, but I couldn't do it. But those are the only three things that I are negatives to me. So I would say that's not bad. Like, not bad at all for a game. There are, so, there are some games where, like, literally everything's a negative and there's no positives, so... Let's hope that it stays that way, you know? It was fun. I enjoyed it. I don't think it, it was too hard for someone getting into Yu-Gi-Oh! for the first time. You'll definitely be able to learn the rules of the game. Lots of cards. Lots of deck options. Like, I can literally see me playing this game for a long, long time, and there's so many decks I want to build. And I'm going to make a video on one specific deck because I want to share it with the world. And I don't think lots of people know about it. But we'll, we'll cross that bridge when we get to it. Nice graphics. Nice audio. Just nice all around. And again, I... And, and keep in mind, I didn't play the online multiplayer. 
I didn't play the battle packs where you can do like a draft pick and you get a deck out of like a certain like what five packs of 10 cards so you and you just make a deck out of that so I did not do that I didn't do the reverse duel and so I would say get this game get it please get it please get it the world will be a better place with this game in it okay and I think that's it If I had to give it a rating right now, I would say four out of five Dark Magician Girls. That was for me. I was going to edit a sound in there, and I don't know if I did or not, so hey, future me. So if you're really interested in this game, and you want to learn more, and you're like me and you would just rather have someone tell you than look it up then this is the place okay 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 they said okay there is no day it's just me i'm alone in a room okay thank you so much for watching this video i appreciate it even if you watched it for like five seconds and were like ew this girl literally does not know what she's talking about you know what thank you for watching me for five seconds but then you probably wouldn't be seeing this unless this is the five seconds that you watch and if so what do you think i will be making more youtube videos very very soon and in the meantime i stream on twitch tracy cakes everything is tracy cakes i think i'm gonna change the name on my birth certificate to tracy cakes but i'll have all of my links to everything in the bio I've never had to do an outro to a YouTube video before. Uh, I don't even do outros on Twitch. Should I like do like a hand movement? Like a... I'm just kidding, we don't do finger guns. Uh, I could dab out. Don't forget to like. No. Bye! this because last time I played pendulum they were over here on the side so yeah so I'm also have to gonna get gonna have to get used to this to, as well whatever that's what new rules new new rules new me <laughs> new year new Matt okay okay no don't even talk about that why did they have to bring up weevil throwing exodia into the so we're gonna get Exodia on his turn. I think that's what's about to happen. We're getting Exodia on Kaiba. Take that, Kaiba.